Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. And welcome to our Crashed with Sanity. Okay, so this is the Victor and Moritz's stronghold of evil. So this is the last um wrong the rights. Um sweep the past under the rug. Yeah, so this is um the final the the final major level in the game. Yeah, this is the final level. This level is tricky in a lot of different ways. Well, this is the this is a fairly decent uh, significant level. Well, and the fact that it's significantly long and significantly difficult. This is where the difficulty has stepped up a few notches. And I mean easily a few notches. That's one of those. And this is this is the left. This is basically like everything. Like it's not everything you've encountered to this point, but it's a long, long, difficult level. It's a, it's a fair, it's a, it's basically, I would say it's a significant step above the other loud levels that I've seen thus far, or that I remember. There aren't gems that are significantly hard to get to, but some of them are really annoying to get to. And I, and I mean significantly Right, it's a significant step above other levels. Like, and I mean really up above. It seems, it seems unfortunate this isn't only like the, the only main level that, that's not a chase or a slide that you really explore in this place. Like with Krat, like with um, Insanity Island, there was all sorts of levels that you could explore. I mean, there there are all sorts of levels you could explore. I mean, that that's probably one of the one of my more favorite parts about all this was. I'm probably gonna wind up recording like multiples on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, just because I'm going to Tampa. Yeah, but, and I want to get. I might do more a lot tomorrow just because of all the things, and I want to get everything rendered and moved on. So that way, I can. I'm, I might start some of some of next week's, just because I'm heading out. No, that's unfortunate. 
Yeah, those go in a sequence. Then I, but I got the gem, so I don't care. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Ugh. This part of the game was a pain in the butt for me. And that's one of those. So that, that's going to kinda be... Uh. And the that's kind of, um... Yeah, so uh, I don't even know where to start with Serena Williams. That's where I want. I, I I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, I, I don't even know where to begin with that. Now that that's one of those where I look at, it, I'm like, where do I, where do I, where do I, where do I begin? That's one of those where I don't even know where to start. On one hand, I can kind of see some of the things that she's talking about, but there are others where I look and look, I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, could she, is she really acting this childish right now? Like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but... I mean, she was acting pretty childish. I mean, and I'm a believer in equal rights and all, but even I have, even, uh, even, I look at that, I'm like, really? Like, and the thing that, that sucks for me, is someone who loves sport. I'm a big sports fan. The thing that sucks for me as a guy who is a sports fan, I don't want... Like, I love sports, but I don't love the way that match ended. And that's the thing for me. Like, Serena at the... I, I'm more upset that, sir, that Naomi Osaka's moment got ruined. That's what upsets me the most here. Is that Osaka's moment got taken from her. It was supposed to be Naomi Osaka's triumphant moment, and it got ripped from her. I mean, you can talk about all the histrionics and whatever you want. But the fact of the matter is, that shouldn't have happened. And Naomi's... That should have been a Naomi Osaka's moment. The fact that it wasn't is disappointing and abhorrent on all levels. The fact that it wasn't allowed to be her moment, it, like I said, is disappointing and abhorrent on all levels. It's just, no.
I'm sorry, it's just, it's just... I don't like the fact that that happened to Naomi Osaka. I, I don't like that. I, I don't like that. It's disappointing to me. The fact that that happened to her is, is to me, very, very disappointing. Because that, that's the thing for me. Is that, that's where it's, that's where it's kind of disgusting to me. Is it took away what should have been a triumphant moment for Naomi Osaka. I mean, that was her moment, and it was taken from her. And that's the thing that sucks, is it was supposed to be about Naomi Osaka, and it wasn't. And that's what I don't like, is it was supposed to have been Naomi Osaka's moment. And her moment got taken from her. And that's to me, that's the thing that sucks for me the most. And that should have been her moment. And that that should have been her moment where she was allowed to shine. But it wasn't. The moment got taken from her. And that's the thing that sucks. Is I don't like to see that when that happens to players. It was supposed to be her moment. Her time in the sun. And it was, and it, was, it, was, it was stripped from her. There's no other way to say it. It was absolutely taken from her. And that to me is the worst moment of this whole sequence. And I don't like the fact that that moment was taken from her. It should have been about Naomi Osaka, but it became it, it, it became about everything else but that instead. And that to me was the worst part of it, is it should have been it should have been Naomi Osaka's moment. Like, I don't, I'm not going to say that those things don't happen to her. Because that's wrong to say. I just don't think she should have said it. And I'm utterly disappointed that she said that. As someone who loves sports, I don't like the fact that she came out and said that. I think, like I said, I think that's a very abhorrent comment. I don't think she should have said that. I'm not a fan of the fact that she came out and openly said that. It's to me that, that that's not that's not something I like to see. That moment should have been about Naomi Osaka, and instead it wasn't. And that's the thing that will suck. That sucks for me. Because a guy who loves sport and I love watching other talents come out. I always love not watching new talent emerge. And that's the thing is that you always want to see that as a sports fan. I think that's a cool thing. I 
and that we can get new talent to arise in sports. And that's what I like. I, li I like to see that when new talent can arise. I always like I always like watching new talent emerge. I mean that, that that's just something that as a sports fan we should all like to watch. And that that's something I always like to see. That's one of my fun things, one of my favorite things to watch as a sports fan is it's always cool to watch new talent emerge. And I think that's ultimately what makes sport great at what it is. To me, that's what makes the world of sports great, is that there, there is... That's one of the cool things, is that new talent can come and new talent can emerge. That's no, always what makes watching sports fun is watching all new talent emerge. And that they say when you can get new talent to emerge, it's just it's always great for sport when that happens. When you get new talent to emerge, it's always good. Now that's that, and it's great for a sport, but I wish, I just wanted, to wish that moment could have been about Naomi Osaka. That's more of what I wanted to happen. dying so many times. There's a cameo, I believe, at the end of this level, too. That's kind of the c cool thing. Is that when you get like, like. Actually, I kind of did trail off again. I'm sorry. And I think the cool thing is that we, when you can get talent. To no, I'm not supposed to. Mmm. Anyways, like, uh, I was supposed to say something about this game, too. One of the things that was said about this game that I like is the, is the format, but I do think this game could... Is this one I'm going to go back? Yes, it will. I believe this might be the last gem up here. Yeah, we got to be... We're close to the ending. That should be it. 
I think. Oh, this section. Oh my gosh. That's in this this section's gonna be nerve wracking, I just know it. Well, this this section's gonna take some time. This section's annoying. Oh boy. This is gonna be freaking. I thought it was green for a split moment. I, I almost damn near forgot the order. I damn near forgot the order of this for a second. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah, I don't see any missing slots here. So it's, yeah, so this is the one where you gotta put the ball on the spot. So that's what we're gonna... There's that part. There's hard parts to this. So. Like I said, I've already died multiple times. Probably more than all the levels combined. I can't say for sure. I haven't been keeping track. Yeah, I haven't been keeping track on that. I haven't died on any of the bosses so far, so that's a good thing. No, get up there. Get up there! Get up there! Damn it! Come on! Ah! <sighs> Get up there. Oh my. I almost forgot. Yeah. Treasure. Our treasure. Yes. We are rich. That treasure is stolen property. Now that's a little late to develop a conscience, Doctor. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> do you think he might want his gems back? <laughs> hmm. That's okay. Checkbox, I'm done. What the? Oh, okay. Wait, what? No, 
not this again. Oh my gosh, stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't even. Oh my gosh, this is not happening. No, this is the way to go. So I'm pretty sure we checked the checkbox at some point. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So this is the end of the this is the end of the game right here. Yeah, this is the final level of this entire game. <sighs> Alright, so with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on more Crash Twin Sanity.